hi guys welcome to today's video thank you for clicking and choosing to watch my video and in today's video we are going to do um some cooking uh some um <clears throat> organizing and mostly i'm going to organize my closet uh it was in a little bit of a mess and that is what uh we are going to do guys yes and i hope you get to enjoy this so welcome so we are going to start uh the video by me uh, removing um the utensils from the utensil rack and then we're going to put it away and then we're going to get uh into cooking uh on this day i was going to prepare some uh, give it for supper the one that i bought in my batch cooking video so yes guys so that is what we are going to do next we're going to prepare the veggies uh that we're going to use uh in the gideri yeah and
so guys as you have seen i started with the onions then i put my spices which were royco cubes black pepper and curry powder and then i'm going to add soy sauce later and then now after that i'll put um some garlic and ginger then after a while after they have uh it, they have um cooked for a while i'm going to put in my tomatoes and uh, the tomatoes uh after after a while uh, after the maver i'll put in all my veggies and that i used uh, some gorgeous some red and green pepper some carrots and then a stalk of celery um i really like uh how the stalk of the flavor the stalk of celery uh adds uh, in the githeri so i really like it like that so on this day when i'm cooking githeri most of the times i usually like to have uh beef broth or chicken broth but on this day i didn't have it so i just uh added water and then on the side guys i'm cooking a little bit of rice because my my daughter can't eat githeri like that and <laughs> she can eat githeri but she can't eat like that so i usually uh cook for her kidogo rice and then i put the githeri on the side that is how she's going to eat that githeri without that she's not she doesn't swallow the githeri she just keeps it in the mouth and just chews it for hours so the easy way is i just boil for her some rice and then with that combo at least she eats it this reminds me of my days in high school so yeah at least like this i'll get her to eat instead of me cooking uh, the rice and then some different stew so this is easy for us and then after i've finished as the food is cooking uh this is my new night routine sometimes so i d i clean as i go so i'm going to wash the viombos uh on the sink so after I've, after the food is done i'm just going to wipe the sink and then when i'm just seated i'm just seated uh that is because nearly on a nikki car after eating i get lazy to wake up and <laughs> go wash viombo so i like doing this it saves uh at least it keeps the kitchen uh, sink clean uh, apart from the utensils we use for dinner guys so i try this sometimes if i feel tired i don't uh or if i feel tired i just sit down relax and i wash after we have uh, eaten the dinner
guys welcome to today's video and welcome to my youtube channel my names are divian munyazi for the new ones and for the returning subscribers thank you thank you for choosing and clicking to watch my video today so if i didn't say hi hi but if i said hi again and um so today uh, in this video it's all about cooking organizing and reorganizing my uh wardrobe these things these clothes they just don't stay put guys so i have to organize uh, mostly mine because uh for the baby girl is not that bad because she doesn't remove clothes for herself yet so i don't know why mine and i do it myself it's so disorganized so i'm going to do that with you guys and we're going to start by folding some clothes that i have unhanged from the hanging lines a few minutes ago so you're going to do that and then we are going to flow with the video so if you are new here i do my content around homemaking motherhood cleaning uh cooking lifestyle once in a very long while so i hope you find me worthy of subscribing please subscribe to my channel please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and kindly don't forget to share 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 the video and welcome
so guys uh here i had already folded and i wanted to change how i uh, put my clothes kidogo because under here uh, i felt like as ilikuwa, they're getting really disorganized because i couldn't see properly or like, i don't i just don't understand so i was just uh, reorganizing them uh kidogo and making do uh, with the wardrobe size that we have for the moment so that is what i was doing so after this guys I wanted to uh, arrange my partner's clothes uh, but I did that off off camera but when I just finished uh, I felt as in some energy just departed from me I felt so tired so as in I was lazy tired and everything and then after and then I went to uh, do the same to my baby girl's wardrobe just make sure it's organized and all that I got a phone call that my baby was not feeling well from school so I had uh, to run uh, to pick her up and then I took her to the hospital but as we are speaking uh, she's all better she's all okay so we thank uh, God for that uh, so I didn't record for the baby girl because I was feeling tired and all that so this was at night uh later later on at night after i had uh, come back from the hospital guys and i was going to i was preparing some dinner and on this day uh, on our menu we are, we are having some chicken stew and chapo and the good thing guys before before i got a call that the baby girl was sick i had already needed the dough so it really saved me a lot of time because it was easy after that so here i was just preparing my chicken i had marinated it for a while as i was preparing the chapos so nikazichoma kwanza and then i put them aside so uh, as the chicken was cooking i could f finish uh with uh the chapos with yeah with the chapos guys So guys uh, the only spices uh, I used I marinated the chicken with some soy sauce some a little bit of onion some garham masala and then and then um, as I was uh, frying the chicken I only put curry powder and some soy sauce and that was it So guys after the tomato had cooked uh, down and it had cooked nicely I removed some of that stew so uh, I could put the green the yellow pepper and then with some a little bit of onion and then I'll add some soy sauce and that is going to be it I don't know why these days I'm finding nice to cook my meat like this and uh, not all of them I remove the stew but I remove the stew on this day because uh, I wanted it uh, to be a little bit uh, wet when serving if someone needed it uh, personally I didn't uh, need it but if someone needed it it's going to have a little bit of uh can i say it won't be so dry so yes so i'm going to put uh, those papers add a little bit of soy sauce and then i'm going to garnish it with coriander and that is going to be it
so and then on the side uh, we are going to have some steamed cabbage guys and i was going a uh, year i was uh, frying some onions then i'm going to put some chopped garlic and then i'm going to add a little bit of green pepper for it to have uh, a little bit of color So guys we are coming to the end of this uh, video uh, if you have watched until this end thank you thank you so much i really 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 appreciate it and i really appreciate you if you haven't liked the video kindly consider liking it um if you haven't commented kindly comment leave your thoughts and all that in the comment section and if you have not shared and you can kindly consider sharing uh, my video out uh thank you so much and we really really enjoyed our meal and see you on the next one Bye.